Hi, and welcome to the Springtime in the Rockies Moodle page. I'm Paul Anderson, and I'm going to take a few minutes just to kind of show you around. Uh, right now, I'm logged in as Richard Seitz, and so the first thing you would do is click up on your name on the, on the side. You had to go here to change your password when you logged in the first time, um, but you'll probably want to edit your profile. Um, you can do a blog or do whatever you want to in here, but what I would encourage you to do is click on Edit Profile, and then I would uh, make sure that all the information that's related to your account is going to be right. And so make sure that, like the city is right. And then right here you can add a picture. And so you could uh, browse and then upload a picture that goes along with that. So it's similar to Facebook or anything like that. A really nice thing to get used to is along the top in Moodle, it's going to show you all these different uh, menus. And so if I want to go back to where I was, normally I'd have to click on the bottom here on Update Profile, but I don't want to change Richard's profile. So I'm going to click on Springtime in the Rockies, and it's going to take me right back to uh, where I was. Now, a couple of things that you should also do if you have time today would be to uh, click on the news forum. So if we click on the news forum, this is going to be like a discussion, like a board or a message board, something like that. You can see that I've started a discussion right here uh, called Welcome, and nobody's added to that. But if you wanted to reply to that, you just click on Reply here, and then it's going to be, it's kind of asynchronous, but you can add information. Uh, again, I can go right back here when I'm done and go back to that classroom. Uh, 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 maybe two other things that I'd like to show you. Uh, one is how to edit uh, the page. Since you're a teacher and everyone's a teacher in here, you should have a button up in the corner that says Turn Editing On. So if I click on Turn Editing On, what that does is it allows me to edit anything into the page. And so I see all these new buttons that come up. If you're not sure what anything is in Moodle, you can just hover over it and it'll tell me exactly what it's going to do. And so if I were to click on delete, then I would get rid of that form, which would be a bad thing to do. Uh, and so now we can add anything. And so maybe in the resources down here, I want to add a resource. And so if I click on add a resource, I could make a web page or I could make a text page or I could link to a website. So let's try that. So let's link to a website. And so in Moodle, uh, the little extra buttons are one thing that you should get used to. And then the other thing that you should get used to is this. Let's say uh, I want to make a link to the Montana Learning Center. So we could write that in here. And then down here, I'm just going to put in the link to that. And so I could go to the Montana Learning Center, copy that, or any URL I could copy, and then I can go back. Simply, maybe, paste it in. And so in Moodle, you should just get in the habit of editing and then make the changes that I want to. And then when I get down to the bottom, then I can save it and return to the course. Um, you can see there's a lot of options. Do I want this web page to open in the same window or do I want it to open in a new window? Maybe I want to do that. So we'll click and save and then return to the course. And so then it's really easy to make links. It's really easy to make web pages that way. And so if we go back now, and I'm going to turn editing off for a second, um, anybody who happens to be on Moodle would now immediately see that change. And so you can see now that there's a link here to Montana Learning Center. So if I click on that, it's going to open up in a brand new window, uh, Montana Learning Center. So that's pretty cool. But it could be a web page or something that you create. The other thing that's kind of not super intuitive is the wiki. And so I'm going to take you into the wiki for a second. Now the wiki can be, anyone can edit it, uh, but it's really nice because we can track back and see if there's any mistakes that have been added. So you can see here's the wiki right here. Uh, welcome to the Springtime in the Rockies wiki. Uh, if I want to edit this page, I can click on edit. And this really, when you get into editing a page, it's going to look, uh, it looks a lot like you're in Word, for example, and you're going to make changes to it that way. And so you can see I can do a lot of stuff here, like add links, bold it, make it center, do whatever. Um, but the cool thing about a wiki is that I can add new pages to it. And so let's say that I want to add a page on uh, Richard Sites. What I do is I put brackets around that. And, and, and the wiki now knows that I want to make a new page out of that. So I'm going to go down to the bottom again and click on Save. And so now when I go on to the wiki, it will show me the information that was there before. But you can see now that there's a new uh, little question mark next to Richard Sites. And so um, I can click on Richard Sites, and then it's going to bring up a brand new page. And so um, I could say Richard Sites likes to throw rocks in the air. Uh, then I can.
can click on Save. And now I've defined the Richard Sites page. Uh, and so now it says Richard Sites likes to throw rocks up in the air. Um, you can see up here I can go back to where I was. So if I want to go back to the wiki, um, this is going to show me where I was uh, just a second ago. So let me get into that. Again, so it's that same wiki we had before, but you can see now that Richard Sites is a brand new link. And so if I click on that, that's going to open up that page that I just changed. Now if Richard doesn't like that, he can click edit here and so he can make any changes to it that he wants to. Um, so it's a really cool way to make a bunch of content really, really quickly. And I think it'd be helpful as we start looking at the math and the science standards as far as technology goes. Uh, I hope that's helpful and I hope I see you guys online.